Yo, what is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. I'm over at our property out in the woods filming this video just because I wanted to change a scenery. And not to mention, our barn is insulated and it is like 200 degrees in there and it has no cooling at all. So it is just. I would probably faint and die in there. So I'm not in there today because it's about 95 out with about 100% plus humidity and it is absolutely awful. But let's get to the good things about today's video and then a couple of, I guess, things we just kind of ran into as more little delays with this build, which trust me, it drives me nuts because I'm the one that looks bad when the build can't get moving forward because people look at me as like the guy that's holding it up, um, even though they don't see everything that I wish you guys saw every single day that I was emailing all the emails I sent and phone calls I make. I probably called, made 10 phone calls today, um, talking to companies and shops and stuff like that, trying to line stuff up regarding, you know, merch problems that we've been having and stuff like that, which I'll get into in just a bit. Keep in mind, guys, we're running a 12 valve Cummins giveaway right now. We have a beautiful five speed, a red five speed first gen. We have a nice built auto second gen with compound turbos and all kinds of cool stuff. Super, super nice truck. And then we have a rust-free five-speed manual silver dually that's also up for grabs. Winner gets to pick one. Every $15 you spend at team-lmp.myshopify.com is another entry to win while inventory lasts because let's just get this out of the way right here. The past like week, I've been trying to get a hold of our company. I've never had an issue with ordering merch from this company. And it's not necessarily their fault, but their system's having a little bit of a problem right now. Um, so I've been trying to get a hold of them, and they're like, uh, yeah, our system's down, we can't place any orders, we can't even manually place orders, all this different stuff. I'm like, I've, I've got to have, I'm, I'm literally running out of merch right now, and I'm like, I've got to, I've got to know, can I get my stuff or not? Because I'm like, if I run out, I'm going to go, you know, for a couple of weeks where I don't have anything to sell, and if I can't sell stuff, I can't cover the costs and all the huge expenses that I have with my giveaway stuff that I'm doing, and all this other stuff, like, we're trying to figure it out, but it, so it's just one of those things where I'm trying to relate because we've had time is almost like with this build where stuff just happens. It just it's sometimes it's out of your control. So it's just one of those deals. They're trying to work on that so where we can get more merch back up there. But whatever is there, we do have on hand and can be shipped out immediately. But if it does say sold out, that means that it is sold out. So just keep that in mind. Whatever's up there is really there and you're still going to get it very, very fast and snappy. It's just that stuff that is sold out. I don't know once it sells out, if it's not yet, when we're gonna be able to get some back in. So let's get on to this build, okay? And then we got something I wanna to talk to you guys about for the red first gen build. This build, guys, of course, you guys know that I bought this truck with the intentions of beating the tar out of it, right? Before I pick this up, everybody's just raving, yeah, buy a truck, beat it up, do some crazy stuff, right? I buy the truck, the next day, everybody changes their mind. Do not do that, it's a beautiful truck, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I mean, it, the, I mean, there was probably 800 comments under that video, one of my highest commented videos about how nobody wants this truck to be abused anymore. So it's kind of like, are you kidding me? So um, long story short, now we're stuck with building it, which I'm cool with. It's just going to be very, very expensive, a lot more expensive than uh, just literally running the wheels off the truck, which was the plan before. But I did say I wanted to start building it by the 1st of September. That was my goal. I don't know how many of you guys on the channel know that. I guess maybe it was just in my mind. I mentioned time and time again, I'm ready to launch this build. I'm ready to launch this build. The whole point of these giveaways is so we can launch these builds and build super cool stuff. Like this truck we were going to build for 750 horsepower. I mean, we're going to do a P-pump on it and a, you know, a lift pump. Um, take the head off, you know, get it fire ringed, like all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't know if I told you all that stuff, you know, all those fine details of what's, what's going to be getting done to this. But all this stuff, like huge plans for this, right? They were going to literally pull the engine and build the whole thing and then put it back in the truck. And then I was going to take it to get, you know, transmission stuff done on it. Um, long story short, that's been delayed again. And before somebody, you know, jumps down in the comments like, dude, see, this is also some kind of a setup. Doing these giveaways saying you're going to build trucks and you're not building the trucks. I know that's exactly what it looks like because of these little delays, which, trust me, they're, I'm not happy about them either. But it just happens. And by the way, it has nothing to do with diesel auto power, if you guys are wondering, like, because they're my, you know, part sponsorship know that it has nothing to do with them it's just the time frame to even get this thing into the shop to the local diesel shop and we've only got like three in the area one they say that they do not do p-pump stuff on trucks they said they only deal with common rail and you know the 24 valve stuff and all all that other the newer the newer stuff um they said they don't do p-pump stuff or ve pump stuff don't know why they're super simple to work with but they said they don't mess with that stuff and then the other shop isn't quite as reputable and then the shop that i'm trying to get a hold of which i did now they are just so, so slammed busy that it is insanely difficult to get a hold of them on the phone. I've been 
take this into perspective. I've been trying to get a hold of these guys for three weeks, calling them once or twice a day for three weeks. Just imagine that. So, and I think once every like eight phone calls, I got somebody to pick up and it was like, okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna start to work on your build list and we're gonna start to work on, you know, the stuff and a quote, and then we're gonna get back to you in a day. A week goes by and I call them every single day because I, I gotta know, because if I don't know, you know, their plans, I can't tell Diesel Auto Power what, you know, what their plans are so that they know how to work with me and with them accordingly to even make the build happen. So anyways, I finally got a hold of them today and they said, okay, so we have all the stuff written down. We know exactly what we're gonna do to the truck. And if you can get these certain parts from your sponsor um, and get that stuff ordered in and figured out, that would be awesome. And then we can get the truck in the first week of October. And I was like, the first week of October? I'm like, are you, sh that's the earliest you can do it. They're like, dude, we are building trucks every minute of every day. Like that is what we've been doing since we were, you know, 14 years old in high school and we have not stopped in there. I think they're in their thirties, but like we've been building trucks nonstop and that's why they're so busy. And if you check out all their, you know, reviews and stuff, they got hundreds of reviews and everybody's like five, four to five stars. They're like, these guys just know their crap. And the only people that put down four stars is because they can't get a hold of them because they're so busy. So it's, it's just one of those deals. But so they said the earliest we can get you in is October, you know, the first week, week of October, just make sure you can nail down with your sponsorship, you know, all the parts that you're going to need and you're going to try to line up and then you, you can get those ordered through them. However, you guys got to work that out so we can get the stuff in, pull the engine, build that thing up, and then get it back out to you so that you guys can get transmission work done on it. I was like, okay. So it sounds really good. The only delay is three weeks away. They said it'll be three weeks until they can get the truck in, which I know sucks because I was wanting to build it the whole week of September, the whole month of September. Um, there's just certain things that are outside of your power. Like if I had shop help, which is another thing I've been really striving for the last couple months, I've been just talking about how I want to get some shop help, some people that are like real flipping diesel like mechanics, like dudes that know their stuff because I'm not gonna own up to acting like I could pull an engine and you know build it from the top, you know, top to bottom and know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not that type of person. Can I do injectors and governor springs and valve springs and stuff like that? Yeah, no problem. I can do that, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, but when it gets to pulling engines and taking the head off and doing all kinds of stuff and firing in it and all, like, I don't know how to do all that stuff. Um, and it's not really something that I really want to learn how to do every step of the way. My vision and my goals are just beyond, you know, just building trucks. I want to be able to have literally a crew of guys that can build these trucks and I want to be able to just use this camera and use my ability to market and get stuff out and just use it to just fuel the missions so that we can do more cooler stuff and bigger stuff and just all around just explode the whole, you know, loud and proud LLC thing to a whole new level beyond just, you know, doing one track at a time and trying to make, you know, trying to make ends meet and get a build going. But I would rather be able to build this truck in our own shop and just paying somebody else, you know, a couple thousand bucks a month to be working on the truck part time than I would, you know, having to take it to a shop and then get only some of the footage and stuff like that. So that's just the whole deal with that. It's just a delay on the truck, okay? So I hope you guys can understand. In the meantime, what I wanna do is I wanna make it up to you guys because this is the truck I wanna build. Um, the dually's pretty much done except for a dual disc clutch, which I'm gonna try to do soon. They're not, the red first gen, we're not really doing anything to. Nasty, yours pretty much done. Like, we really don't have anything else that I'm really wanting to build right now, like, like that we're building. So, um, and I do have another truck or two in mind that I'm planning to pick up once we can get this launched, because I don't want to bring another build onto the table without having accomplished, you know, the next one, which is in line, which is this truck. I want to do something extremely fun. Is there anything else you guys would like to see? If, let's, okay, let's say this. Let's say I gave you guys a $5,000 budget and I said, with $5,000, what would you do in the next three weeks? Okay, so, cause I wanna have some kind of a cool little theme going on for each giveaway. I wanna have a different kind of theme going on. So like in the meantime, we're doing something fun or entertaining in the meantime, you know, so you guys have something to watch when the giveaways are taking place and stuff. If you guys had $5,000 cash right now, what would you do with that money? Or would you guys wanna see a different little truck? Would you guys wanna see a different vehicle that's not necessarily it doesn't have to be a diesel, I would prefer a diesel, but, or would you guys wanna see something that's like a super high mileage Duramax or a super high mileage power stroke that may be on its last leg that I can get for, you know, 2,000 bucks, literally milk the last few, last few hundred miles out of it with just some experimental content, just doing some goofy, goofy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or what would you wanna see? That's all I guess, I guess that's all I'm saying. What would you guys wanna see over the next week or two if you had $5,000 to spend on whatever kind of content you wanted, 
what would you guys want to see that you think would be the funniest, the most entertaining, that type of stuff? What would you want to see? So let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see. It's a red first gen, it's not here right now, but we talked about the wheels yesterday and I decided to end up going with the 20 by 10 Anthems. I didn't want to stance it out more than the fenders because that's how all these trucks are and it is. I, I just really want a chrome wheel and I don't want to go, I don't want to go super wide though. So I went with an Anthem 20 by 10, the Gunner, the Chrome Gunners. And I did order the Toyo MT 275 55R20s. So those are going to be on the way too. And then also the spine drive lug kit and all that stuff. Like I said, do not forget to enter the 12 Valve Cummins giveaway. Three beautiful, beautiful trucks. If you guys want to go check them out, they're on the website down in the description below. There'll be a link. Go to the website. You guys can actually see some pictures of the trucks on there if you guys are new and you haven't seen the trucks yet that we're giving away. Um, pretty cool trucks. I mean, they're just beautiful, clean, rust-free trucks. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Remember, every $15 you spend is another entry to win while stuff lasts and hopefully we can sort out this merch ordering stuff because right now it's been about a week and I haven't still, their website's still been down. I haven't been able to order anything so it's been really chaotic and kind of freaking out a little bit because once stuff sells out, it's gonna sell out until we can figure out that problem. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.